Hi Ashish, pleasure to have you today and uh, thanks for the opportunity to discuss with you and have this fireside chat. Um, we know each other for uh, many years and uh, I know you have traveled across the globe. You have a global experience, work with telcos, you work with system integrators, you work with software provider, product providers. So how do you describe your uh, global experience with respect to you know, how different your current role is uh, in Telefonica. Thanks, Vinay. Thank you very much for this. And it's a, I think it's a very nice question to start off with. So, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, when it comes to transformation, um, my first serious uh, program was with Telstra, which was in Australia. And then several in UK with Vodafone, BT, Proximus, also in the US with Verizon. For me, it's uh, the transformation program that we have here within Telefonica Germany is very unique in many, many ways. Let me let me just highlight a few. What, first of all, I think the tremendous connect and support that we have with our business, thanks to the leadership of Mr. Malik Rao, is, is something which is not seen in most transformation programs. Second of all, uh, if you think about it, uh, the transformation in Telefonica this is the fourth time we're doing it, and it's been tremendously successful. We have a complete composable IT cloud native stack, the first of its kind across the globe. There's no other telecom that can have or make this claim of uh, you know migrating over 15 million subscribers onto a complete cloud native stack with best of breed in a period of less than 18 months. And uh, thanks to your support as well, tremendous talent from the team of Tech Mahendra and continued support from the leadership has made us successful. My next question is, you said uh, Telefonica Germany tried transformation four times and uh, this is the successful transformation. Um, 14, 15 million subscribers are already on the SKU stack. Uh, can you explain what was so different among these four transformation programs, what Telefonica tried and now you know, what is the key ingredient of the success of this program? We've been trying to transform and then acquire at the same time. And that was also one of the challenges that we had, say, the first transformation attempt that we made. Later on, I think we were looking at more from a business perspective, run it from a business process simplification and try and come top down and completely look at every single complexity we have uh, with a very uh, pure play single cost product uh, perspective. And I think that was also not successful. The third time we tried to do it is that we're changing too many furnitures at the same time. It was not really planned. It wasn't coordinated. Now what we've done is we've we've taken it step by step. We started with the prepaid brands. We did an MVP. We did a pilot. We made sure there is success behind it. We got the whole business to support it. Started off with technology, then became a business and technology-led transformation, but today it's business-led transformation, which basically means that we have all the bits and bobs in place from a, uh, from a product point of view with uh, the smorgasbord of Salesforce, Hanson, Compaq, Matrix, Nokia, and a lot. And um, one of the other key points of difference is we have a complete bespoke uh, channels layer. We have built it, again, with the help of Tech Mahindra, we have built the channels layer, rounds up, with our own bare hands. So all the products we bought were headless, which basically meant that we could define how we white label uh, every single brand going forward. And it gives, it gives us a lot of flexibility to be able to manage the simplification of the solution and the processes going forward to it. Great. So just continuing uh, in the transformation itself, you are leading in the mass market transformation or in, in, in Telefonical B2C from a technology perspective, entire BSS, right? And there are niche products, the best of the breed as you described. Um, did you face any challenge during this journey, what we have gone together so far? Uh, how do you describe, uh, maybe, you know, it will be also helpful for other telcos, for, uh, you know, the other companies who are envisaging the transformation. What are the key factors to be, you know, taken into consideration? Oh, definitely. So, uh, for me, I think first is uh, 
to maintain the core team. Resource retention is at the heart. I'm a very people-driven person myself. So I invest in my team, in my partners, and I think maintaining the talent pool because there, and for four years, I can probably say we haven't lost anybody who has contributed as a key person to the transformation program. So people is very far. The second for me is quality first. Mm -hmm. So we had well, the rough times. I won't say that four years has been absolutely smooth. We've, we've had some challenges and we've had to quickly recalibrate and see where we need to make some course corrections. So that level of making a turnaround and making sure that we can correct and maintain that quality is very important. And finally, it's all about prioritizing what is most important to the value that brings value to the company. So it's, um, we, we don't do transformation just for the sake of it. It is not a legacy modernization or reinventing what's done in the past. It has to be very value-centric around what does it man manage and matter to Telefonica Germany in terms of time to market, in terms of revenue increase, in terms of customer satisfaction. So if you keep those three things in mind, I believe that with the right team, with the right focus on managing quality, which also talks about performance and resiliency of the stack and stability, and with the right level of prioritization, we can be successful, and we have been successful. Now, the rate transformation, this radical architecture and IT transformation is almost, uh, if I may call, halfway, because prepaid is already is, is alive. You already have uh, more than 1 billion euro revenue flowing through this particular platform. Um, what is the key business benefit which Telefonica is already seeing or Telefonica business is already seeing having so many prepaid brands already launched on the new platform in terms of uh, the KPIs which business has in terms of uh, customer experience, time to market reduction. Uh, have you got some measurement or have you got some feedback from business? What is their view? From a time to market perspective, we have got tangible proof that for the brands that have migrated and are now on the new stack, the time to market for a product catalog change, to be able to launch a campaign, to be able to make it relevant, to make a portfolio update is more than 50% less than what we did in the past. Right. The second thing is around the CapEx shift. We're spending a lot in legacy. Right. And that for us was also a bit of a drainer because, um, you know, we knew it's bleeding. We knew it's, uh, it's, it's old. It had to be decommissioned now. So for us, it was, it was very important to spend the money in the right place. And I can say very confidently that far more than half of what we spend on legacy is now invested on the new transformation stack which again makes us relevant for the next 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And finally, what I would say is that um, in terms of uh, the stability, the stack, the resiliency, uh, the, uh, let's say, the major incidents or, you know, the problems we had in production, they have also reduced by almost 70%. Now, when we do have a SEV1, we know it needs to be resolved and we resolve it very quickly. We don't have a, we don't have a flow of stack that's not stable. So very stable new stack and it's cloud native which gives us the edge of being able to reduce costs even in the future excellent um do you have some last words which you know the other operators other providers can actually follow and they can get a kind of a guidance from you absolutely so for me transformation is um, should not become a habit or a norm it's more like a religion. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to have faith on your thief. And it has to be very purpose-driven to the future of the company. Future of your customers, whether it opens up new revenue streams for you, whether it gives you the level of agility to, uh, you know, capture new market ground. It's very important that a transformation is not branded as just another program. And the quicker you complete a transformation, the quicker you can enable your business as usual streams to leverage the new stack that you have just created, the more successful and happier you will be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ashish. Nice to meet you.